Hi, this is Masti Badi for HAP501 and I'd like to show you how to use the computer to test hypotheses about a population mean uh, using the t-test. And in order to demonstrate that, uh, I'm going to use the demonstration problem 9.2 on page 312 of your book. Uh, so here we have uh, the data I've entered are the acres uh, for farms in U.S. because the problem is to test whether the average size of a U.S. farm is more than 471 acres or not. Um, so you have to pay attention that the way the problem is stated, it makes it a one-tail test uh, with the null hypothesis being that the average size of farms in U.S. are still uh, 471 acres and the alternative hypothesis being that the average size is now greater than 471 acres. Um, now you can um, look up the um, critical t-value in your table using an alpha of uh, 0 0.05 uh, because you have a sample of uh, 23 uh, farms, your uh, degrees of freedom would be 22. And if you look up the T table, the critical value, the table value of T for a degrees of freedom 22 and an alpha of uh, 0 0.05 is 1.717. And then you can calculate your uh, test T value given this sample and compare them. Uh, and based on that, you can make a decision. Or if you want to use the computer, the Excel, um, it's a little bit tricky because Excel doesn't actually have a function for a one sample T test. Um, so you need to kind of fool the program and run a two tail test. Um, uh, and in order to do that, you need two sets of uh, values uh, to um, arrays um, and the other one needs to be the value of that you're testing against the mean value uh, or your test value which was 471 but you need to have as many 471s as you have uh, in your sample uh, so in order to do that I'm going to use the autofill and choose 23 cells all at the value that we're testing against our mean value of 471. Then we can run the uh, two-tail test. Um, here, let's go under Tools, Data Analysis. And what we're interested in, in a, is a t-test, two sample, assuming unequal variance. That's what you need to use if you actually really have one sample. Let's say OK. And uh, for the value of our array is every this value, the 23 cells. For our range 2, it's this values. And uh, it's already on alpha of 0 0.05. There are no rate labels. And for output range, I'd like to put it right here so that you can see it. Let's say OK. And here, um, let me make it a little bigger. You can see that Excel um, gives you the mean variance, the count for the observations, the degrees of freedom. It gives you the T statistics for both one tail and two tail. And it gives you the P value for both one tail and two tails. Excel also gives you the critical value for T. Um, here is the critical value for one tail. If you look it up in the T table, it's the same. Uh, so the critical value is 1.71 for one tail. Uh, and the calculated one uh, is 2.83. Uh, and then it's given you for one tail P value of 0 0.004. So we can make our decision based on the fact that uh, our critical, uh, our t statistic of 2.83 is larger than the table value of t, the critical value of t, and therefore we need to reject the null hypothesis. Or because our p-value, our one-tail p-value is smaller than 0 0.05, which was our alpha, again we need to reject the null hypothesis. So we need to 
assume based on this sample that the average uh, farms are in UK are uh, greater than 471 acres. Uh, so that's our alternative hypothesis, and we need to choose that uh, based on this statistic. Um, and this is how you can use Excel to conduct a one sample uh, t-test. Uh, you know, as I say, it's a little bit complicated, but not if you know what you're doing. And the most important thing is knowing how to read the output, because Excel gives you both one tail and two tail. So it gives you the uh, critical table value uh, for one tail. It gives you the critical table value for two tail. And then it gives you the statistic based on your actual sample, and then it gives you both one tail and two tail p-values. So you have to know what you're looking at. And that's it.